Get my arms kicked again. Retrotech 100. What did I get today? I got an NES controller. Well, it's a USB NES controller. It's £3.75 and I got it for an upcoming project with my friend Forrest. He said to me something really special in the post. He's got a channel called Easy Hacks and he's a Retro Pie Master. The link's in the description up there. Go and check out his channel. He's got something really special coming up with these. And I thought I'd get one to uh, go with it. You'll have to work out what that means in the future. So, I thought I'd get one of these retro pie anyway. And you know what? For £3.75, it's pretty good. The D-pad's nice. All the buttons seem quite nice. These are a bit softer than the D-pad. But it's still pretty nice. I know people say you should spend a bit of money on controllers. And I've got nice controllers. Uh, I just thought I'd see what this is all about. Now, I don't know if anyone's interested. I'm going to open it up and see what it's like inside. And then I'll test it on my retro pie. Okay. Mm. So, that's what it looks like inside. Board screwed into there. It really does need the back in there to hold it together. There's not a lot to it, really. Should we take the screw out? Might as well. Same size screws that hold the, the um, case together. And that's all you've got in there, really. In the case, the plastic's good and strong. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, let me put this back together, and then we'll see how it operates. Obviously, you're going to be limited to what ga what consoles you can play, but you can play Atari, Master System, NES. Let's see where our buttons. We just hold the A to go through, um, so you can skip these buttons. I think you can hold any button, and it skips it. So I've done A and B the wrong way around when I define the controls, but it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, have a game or something here. Yep, all the buttons seem to work just fine. So you're going to have a pause. Oh. It feels pretty good to play with it. Doesn't uh doesn't feel as cheap as you might expect. Oh. See the start and the select work. Just fine. Yeah, everything seems to be just grand. Sorry, I'm getting in the way there. You see, punch works, kick works, and it doesn't feel as terribly cheap as you might expect. It would definitely suffice if you're stuck. That's for sure. And. It's going to be a lot more useful in the coming weeks, as you'll see. Get my arms kicked again. 
Okay, I managed to kill any of them. I'll just show you. There we are. Oh. No, both buttons are working for the flying kick. Yeah. Enemies vanquished. Anyway. You get the idea, it works completely fine. Like I say, you'll be limited to the systems you can use, obviously just two button systems. Like um, Atari 2600, 7800 I think. Master System, NES, PC Engine mostly. I know they've got, sometimes they'll have two extra buttons, but for a lot of things, this will get you by. £3.75, you really can't complain. And like I say, there's a special project coming from the Easy Hacks channel for me to modify this controller to something unbelievable. The link will be up here. Go give him a subscribe. Once you get on his channel, you'll definitely subscribe anyway. Because he knows his stuff. And he's me buddy, so go and subscribe. Okay. Thanks for now. I'll see ya next time.